Today, we're going to be looking at Quen 2.5 Coder Series and how you can use it for AI SEO. Now, if we look at the coding capabilities, which is very useful, as I'll show you in a minute, you can see here that on many of the benchmarks is actually out competing GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So you can see the metrics for Quen 2.5 over here. GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now, if you want the fastest, simplest, and easiest way to get access to this, you can just go on to Hugging Face. I'll include it inside the video notes from today. And then from here, you can start using the Quen 2.5 coder that was just released. And you can see over here, you give it a prompt, really user-friendly. And then over here, you have the preview. So super basic stuff. But if we create like a one page website for birds, we'll hit send like so. It's going to start coding really clean UI, as you can see. Easy to use. Like if you're not a coder, if you're like me, I'm not a coder at all. Then it's so easy to access these sort of tools, which absolutely blows my mind. And now you can see we've got this pretty nice website designed in like two seconds. Now, if we want to improve it, we just go back to the prompts. But you can see here how we've created basically a simple website in one click. But not only that, we can actually preview it. Now, let's put this in perspective, right? I currently pay for Claude. And Claude costs me about $25 a month, which is about $250 a year. Quen 2.5 Coder is completely free and does very similar things, especially when it comes to coding. Now, let's test them side by side. So if we say create a one-page website for birds, and we'll do that inside Claude. We'll ask it to do its magic. We can compare, okay, what are the outputs? Like how good is Quen's model versus the paid version of Claude? Should I seriously be considering canceling my membership? I'm also going to show you some cool ways that you can use this to build your own websites, to rank with some proven examples, etc. But if we compare them side by side, it's pretty much going band for band here, my friends. As you can see, if I had to choose, I think marginally I would go for Quen 2.5, especially because the responsiveness of this is kind of like cut off at the bottom. But how easy was that, right? Just to create your own website. So let's take it up a notch right here. And we're going to start using Quen for some actual interesting stuff. So from here, what we're going to say is create a beautifully designed SEO cost calculator. At this point, you might be going, hold your horses, Julian Goldie, because I don't need an SEO cost calculator. But what I want to show you here is how easy you can create these tools and embed them on your site so that you can start ranking for them. As an example of this, random, totally random keyword. But if you look at the keyword SEO cost calculator, you can see this brand new website we created recently that's already ranking on the first page using the same method, but using a paid method. Quen is free. I created this with Bolt, which is paid, but you get the idea, right? So you can create really nice tools. You can rank for them and you can get traffic to your website by going after these sort of keywords. So if we flick back now to Quen, you can see here that it's actually created a cost calculator, created the whole website, linked to all the relevant sections of the page inside the navigation menu and slap that up in about one click with an extremely basic prompt right here. So it's pretty cool what you can do. Pretty amazing that you can do this for free. And it was extremely simple to do that, wasn't it? Now, what I've also tested here is I said, create the SEO cost calculator and give me the iframe code to embed it to my website. Now, if you want the code, you just scroll down and then you click on view code, as you can see right here. And then if you want the iCloud code, you just host this code. And then underneath, you got the iframe code if you want to embed that directly into your website, right? So you can see here, it says to embed the calculator code into your website, you can use the following iframe code. Make sure to replace your calculator with the actual URL where the calculator is hosted. Simple stuff, but it works really well. And it's all free to access. Now, another way you can access this, instead of you having to go into GitHub and then set up the terminal, etc., you can install Pinocchio, which is free to download. And then you want to make sure you also have Olama, which is also free to download. And then inside here, you can click through and download. You can use pretty much all the AIs that you can imagine, including like Flux, Bolt, etc. Now, if you go to Discover and then get Open Web UI, it might take about 15 to 20 minutes to download and install. So you just download that. That's completely free as well. And then once you've done both of those, you can open up the locally hosted version of Web UI. Click on your name in the bottom left, admin panel, settings, go to models. And then as you can see right here, I'm downloading Quen 2.5 Coda so that we can start using that directly in Open Web UI. It looks a little bit like ChatGPT, as you can see, but you can download like custom models and then use them directly inside here. So for example, Quen 2.5 Coda is downloading. And then, you know, it looks very similar to ChatGPT, but you can basically generate stuff inside there. For free. All right. So now we have Quen 2.5 Coder downloaded. So you can see it's ready to go if we just click on the drop down over here and we'll select Quen 2.5 hyphen Coder latest. 
And then from there, we can just start the magic. So it's actually remarkable how close this is to ChatGPT and the way it's laid out. So let me just open them up side by side. The UI is pretty similar if you ask me, but we can actually start coding. So I'm going to say now create a one page website for an SEO ROI calculator, just as a random example to show you what this looks like on the preview. So it's creating the HTML directly in the chat. Again, this is free. You don't pay for this tool and you can actually upload loads of different models. You don't just have to stick to Quen. So, so that in itself is going to save you a lot of money, but then you can see it's popping up with a nice little preview right there whilst it's still coding. And here's the difference versus hugging face is that now or you can actually go back and forth inside Quen directly inside the chat, right? So super easy, quite fast. Once it's loaded, you can have multiple models in the top left here and just load them all in. And it doesn't cost you a penny, my friends. So yeah, have a play around with it. Seems super fun. Very experimental approach for you can see how powerful this is and the potential of it. Now, just to recap on some of the use cases of Quen 2.5. So number one, you can replace your paid tools. So for example, we were talking about Claude and how that would cost normally hundreds of dollars per year. But you can actually use Quen to just handle that for you. And then you can get access for free to Quen 2.5 Coder. Here's another SEO use case. You can actually build these tools like you see right here. We've created one for the real estate space. You can then plug in your API key. So for example, you could get a free API from Gemini inside AI Studio. Just click on get API key. It's completely free as well. And then you can generate keyword ideas for whatever niche you're in. And you can host these on your website or you can share them with your team. Another use case example is you can actually create like these calculator websites, as you can see, very easy to create. They can generate a lot of clicks in a short amount of time. Bear in mind, we only launched this website on October the 29th and it's already ranking for a lot of keywords, as you can see down here. Now, that website, enterprise seroi calculator.com, was created on bolt.new. Bolt.new is a paid version. So, just to recap, we've talked about building out your own tools. We've talked about hosting tools, creating tools, custom built for AI SEO and how you can get free access to Quint. Now, additionally, what you can also do if we have a look at this website, I just launched literally yesterday and you can see it's ranking within 24 hours for the keyword best SEO training in Melbourne is we built out an exact match domain using AI. Now you could do exactly the same thing using Quint. So if we go back to Hugging Space, we're going to take this prompt that I've used to build the SEO training Melbourne website. And we'll plug that directly into Quinn, hit send. From there, it's going to start coding the website and building it out for us. And because it gives you the code, you can host that on your website and it's quite easy to set up. Now, I'll be honest with you, if you're going to build out a whole website, that's going to take a few minutes, right? So it's don't expect it to be done ASAP, but you can see how easy it is to build out a website with just a couple of prompts. It, the most time consuming bit of building out websites with AI is actually just the tweaking and the back and forth in between. But now you can see we've got the website ready to go. For example, if we just click on that, you can see it takes directly to my sales pages. We've got all these pages set up and it was incredibly easy just to build that in a couple of clicks. Plus it's all set up to convert. Now, if I was going back and forth, for example, with Open Web UI, then obviously you want the website to be a lot prettier, right? It's not, not the best looking website in the world, like a tangerine, my friends. Now that brings me on to why Open Web UI is probably more powerful because, for example, if I want to tweak the prompts on here, it's going to be quite difficult. It's going to be quite a lot of work. Whereas if I go inside Web UI and I go back and forth with the model, then you can tweak any sort of prompts you want. You don't have to start from scratch every single time you do a prompt like you would inside Hugging Face, right? So even if you want to build apps, right? If you wanted to build an SEO app, let's try and create a to-do list app. So we'll click on the prompt right there, hit send, and we have our to-do list ready to go. Top of that list has to be rank number one. And then if we can't do that, we'll rank number two. But you can see how easy it is to create these apps, like super simple stuff. Now let's see what it's like for generating content. So I haven't actually tested this out. So I'm just going to type this prompt directly in face. So we're going to say create an SEO optimized article for this. Now bear in mind, this is Quen 2.5 Coda. So it's not really designed for writing content, but I just want to give you some examples, give you an idea and look and a feel for what it looks like. So, so we've got the prompt, the keyword, by the way, you get access to this prompt if you need access later, then we're going to hit send like so. So here we've got the content. It's actually it doesn't look bad at all. 500 words. Let's read it out. SEO stands for SEO optimization. It's a process of improving your website so that it ranks higher in search engine results pages. What does it mean for you? It's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't that's not Claude level. I can tell you that for free. But I think when it comes to actually coding and building stuff out, that's what it's good at. It writes like a coder. It's correct. It's perfectly done, but it just doesn't have that vava boom that you want inside a nice little article. As an example of that, if you just want to see the reverse, 
So let's compare it to Claude. And the reason that I'm comparing it to Claude, because I think that's probably the most similar model. For example, like ChatGPT, even though that's a paid model, it doesn't give you like an artifacts feature where you can preview code directly, as far as I know. And here you can see that the writing style is just way more interesting in terms of the way it's formatted, the way it's written, etc. So I would still say Claude is winning when it comes to writing content. I'll tell you what would be interesting though. Let's just see how this performs on zero GPT for AI detection. So let's paste in the content from Quen and we'll click on detect text. Yeah, that's coming out highly AI generated. So for coding, it's great for writing content, not great when it comes to SEO. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to the notes from today and all the prompts, etc., I want to plug that into my free SEO course. It comes with over 200 recipes already for SEO and loads of workflows and tips, etc. on pretty much everything you can imagine. But inside the free SEO tool section, if you log in, just go to Quen 2.5 Coder. You can see how much stuff this comes with. It's absolutely crazy. I'm a maniac for giving it all away. And then if you want access to the video notes and the prompts, etc., you can get that directly in the video notes right there. The link to this free SEO course is inside the comments description. Comes with pretty much everything you ever needed when it comes to ranking with SEO, as you can see right here. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic, and sales with SEO and how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month, and basically help you make more money with SEO, feel free to book in that free SEO strategy session, link in the comments description. And on this free link building acceleration session, we will give you a free SEO domination plan. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building now to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.